Okay, so here's the deal. I want to make sides using EMT, uh, electrical metal conduit, or whatever it is, three quarter inch conduit, this, for the raised beds that I've already built last year. I have a pipe bender, pipe bender. This is a 10 foot section. The sides, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a foot off of this on each side to screw in as my uprights to the wood. So I'm left with eight feet. It's four feet across, so that gives me a four foot by four foot by four foot triangle. I had, home, I had uh, Aquaman help me with this. So if that's the case, then the peak angle is 60 degrees. The bottom two angles would be 60 degrees, but they're gonna be vertical instead of closed in. So we're gonna add 90 degrees, so it should be 150 degrees. So it would be like a 30 degree bend. So if we're right, this should work well. Let's find out if we're right. Okay, so first things first, I need to mark the conduit. So I need to measure in one foot from each side and make a mark. And then I need to measure up to five feet, which would be the middle. So here's my one foot measurement right there. Here's five feet right here. And we'll put it on the other side. And we mark off one foot here. Okay. Not sure if I should do the middle angle first or the end angles first. I think I'm gonna start with the end angles and we'll see if that was a mistake. So, with the pipe bender, here's what you've got. It tells you your angles here. You put the point where you want the middle of the bend to be right here. So, 30 degrees, that's how far I'll bend it. Let's see how it goes. So, we put this in here like this put the point at that there's my mark right there close enough close enough okay there we go so now what I'm gonna do <clears throat> is turn around the other way that's what I'm gonna do because it wasn't done in the whole piece I just want to bend the small part Okay, so, there's my mark, there's my mark, am I at my mark, I'm at my mark, so here's what I do, turn it like this until we get to 30 degrees, right there, I think that's good, okay, we're going to call that good. Now the key is gonna to be to keeping this flat on the other end so that it's the same. So let's go, let's try this on the other side. Put this in here like that. Come up to my mark, see if we're close. Try to get this vertical so that it's the same bend. Like, I think we're good there. I have the same angle here. Looks pretty good. And then we bend. And try to get to 30. Where are we at 30? Okay, we're not at 30. Okay. I think that might be 30. So now we're gonna slide down in the middle. Put our point. Right there in the middle, making sure that these are both verticals. And now we've got to go to 60. Oh no, that's all right. We can do this. Okay, so point here. Where's my mark? Where's my mark? There we go. Okay, the mark is right there. These are 
vertical. Let's get to it. Come on. And there, I don't think we're at 60 degrees yet. Oh, we kinked it. Well, that's a bummer. Okay, so we kinked it. But, I think it's because I just didn't went too far. That actually looks, still looks pretty good. I actually might be too, too close. Push it out like that, we might be good. Let's take it outside and go check. So, so, I did something wrong because you can see this is wider than it needs to be. I measured the garden bed, it's four feet. So I think part of the problem might be, I don't know if you guys can see over there where my mark is. See where the mark is down there and then the bend is actually a few inches up top from it. So my thought is I either use it as is or get more pieces, which I'm gonna have to do anyway because this is all the um, conduit I have right now and um, try to rebend them. But I think I might just use it like this because I kind of like the width. It goes over top of it. Um, I'm not gonna put anything tall in here. Oops, sorry guys, I might be getting windy. So I'm just gonna put like lettuce and stuff in here stuff that's low to the ground. So if I pound this into the ground, it'll still give us plenty of height. Um, I may just do that. I may bend two more just like this. Put one there, one here, and one here, and then uh, put plastic over it and give it a go. And then maybe recalculate for the next time. But that's kind of what I'm thinking. So let me know what you guys think. So the second bent uh, went, or the rib, whatever you want to call it, went much better than the first. It didn't kink like the first one did. And I think it's, I haven't used this in a long time. If you step on this part here, see that textured part right there? If you step on that part, you let the tool do the bending. I was, in the first one, I was pushing the tube instead of letting this bend it. So again, the, the things aren't perfect. Um, and this, I don't know if you guys can see, somewhere on here, see it says right there, three quarter EMT. I bought the half inch EMT, like I told you, because it's way cheaper. This is like, 240 the other stuff was actually this is like 235 a stick the three-quarter inch is 490 a stick so half the cost um, but this works just as well I found um, there might be a little slop because it doesn't fill this up quite as well but it works just fine so I'm gonna go ahead and make one more then I'll have three I can start sticking them into the ground and laying plastic it won't happen today because it's snowing and it's blowing 35 miles an hour and it's really really cold but I'm gonna get this bent up and then uh, we'll be good to go. So bent up really quickly. You can see I'm still not exact in my measurements. It's not perfect, but it'll work. Um, especially with this little guy helping. So we'll take this out when it's not so cold and we'll Daddy, see if we can get it plastic. Hi. Say hi. There hi. you go. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to put these up. I got the pipe strap for them. I've got some screws. Go ahead and screw it into the back side see how it works and I may just grab this 2x4 here and put it across the peak and uh, see if it holds everything together well. Like I've told you, it's not perfect. You can see it's, you know, not 100% even. First attempt, hoop house, mini hoop house 1.0. Um, the pipe strap, I put two on each side. It should hold it, I think, should be good. Uh, if I need to get a two, so I just use a one screw one. I think it would have been better off buying one of the two screws, a screw on either side, but we'll see how this goes to start. Um, now what I'm going to try to do is take that 2x4 right there, 
put along the peak here and strap it in to keep everything kind of more sturdy. I already stuck these into the ground and all I'll have to do is throw some plastic over there. Okay, I'm gonna be the first one to admit this is a little bit, um, a little bit not so great. So you can tell it's kind of going down like this. Well, that's because I had the same problem with this raised bed. The property drops off the, you know, the, the ground drops off right here. So it's just kind of going in the same angle as the ground, which is fine. It'll still catch uh, sun and all that. I'm gonna go see if I can find my plastic and maybe cut a piece, just throw it on here and see what it looks like. This is a roll of 20 foot by 100 foot plastic clear sheeting. Had it for a while, because I've been planning on making a hoop house for a while. It's kind of heavy, so I'm gonna put it down and I'm gonna get to work on cutting it. I was trying to figure out if it made sense to cut, you know, like a 12 foot piece this way and then fold it out 20 feet and have plenty of room that way. But what I'm thinking I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set the, the roll on this end here and roll out the 20 feet this way. Reason being is that if I make two more, this one and this one into early hoop house type things, cold frames, whatever you wanna call them, then I don't have to cut it at all. I can just continue to roll it from here all the way along there and just roll out more plastic and not cut any of the big sheet of plastic. I think that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, with Aqua Boy's help, we were able to drape the plastic over top of this. We just put some boards and some rocks along here. It's not very sunny out right now. What I'm planning on doing is I'm gonna grab a thermometer, I'm gonna put it in there and see what the temperature gets up to. So we'll see what the temperature is outside. We'll see what it gets up to in there. See if it helps at all. Um, I mean, it's not super clear. It's, you know, somewhat opaque. Um, but we'll see what happens. I figured it can't hurt to try. So it took me, I don't know, an hour's worth of work total to do this. So, and it was mostly stuff we had. I just had to buy those um, pipe straps and a couple more EMT. And we'll give it a shot and see what happens. If it works, if this one works well, then I'll bend some more to put there and to put there. And then we can just pull this plastic all the way along and uh, have a pretty cool little mini hoop house. So, uh, in the meantime, I'll find a, uh, a thermometer and I'll let you guys know. But uh, thanks for watching.